we of the Arctrian Group once again wish to send the blessing of a new and happy 2018 to all readers, a year that will usher in change on all levels of awareness. Personal as well as global change cannot help but manifest as the result of increasingly evolved states of consciousness, consciousness being the substance from which the outer scene is formed. The present has become rich with new information. You have come to assist in the birthing of a higher world consciousness through attaining, and then adding light to the consensus consciousness. We, the Arctrian group, as well as many, many others, are standing by to help with this. Do not get discouraged or fall into the belief that it is an impossible job, for the burden does not fall only to the few awakened ones, you are never alone. A few serious seekers have become overwhelmed and discouraged as they look out on a world that seems to be getting worse instead of better. These dear ones have come to believe that evolving the three-dimensional system is their personal responsibility and that they have failed. It is spirit, truth, and light alone that does the heavy lifting. Individuals in and of themselves can do nothing, for they have nothing real with which to do something. You are never alone nor could you ever be separate or abandoned, regardless of any outer appearances to the contrary. Every individual is assisted and guided through even the most ordinary of situations toward whatever solutions will best serve the goals they set before incarnation. Conditions of humanhood are based in beliefs of separation of which the bottom line is always, you will never be good enough. The material belief system teaches that it is only by sheer strength of either body or mind that a person can achieve success or even survive. This belief has brought about a non-ending supply of self-promoting human activity that may or may not accomplish personal goals, and which frequently cause harm to others. An intellectual knowledge of truth is the first step out of this maze, but it must evolve deeper and become an attained state of consciousness. The ego or personal sense of self, regardless of how educated or intellectually aware, is only able to create change at that level. This is clearly illustrated in the Bible story of the branch that is cut off from the vine. Only through one's conscious alignment with truth, spirit, and the divine self, can that sacred portal within open and allow the flow of light that dissolves the dark. That intuitive nudge Ideas that seem to come from nowhere, the sudden solution to a difficult problem will become ordinary experiences as you attain a consciousness of completeness and wholeness as being available now, rather than at some future time when you are more holy. Learn to trust, always remembering that you are not simply a physical being who must struggle to survive by your wits, but are rather a spiritual being of light briefly on earth to experience separation, learn from it and share with others who are also seeking. We wish to speak to the concept of money. Regardless of what country you live in, money represents a material interpretation of spiritual abundance, completeness, wholeness. Because humans are creators, they have over time and through the ignorance of duality and separation, created a global system of lack and limitation versus abundance. Duality Financial abundance or the lack of it is a concept having no law to support, maintain, or sustain it. It simply exists and will continue to exist as long as there is a belief in it. Wealth can easily come and just as easily go when it has been created from the energies of duality and separation. Observe at the blades of grass in a field, for these represent the expression of the law of abundance. Could an omniscient, omnipotent, Omnipresent Divine Creator Consciousness Lack Anything? Lack is a man-made experience. The temptation for most is to immediately go into denial about this, finding hundreds of reasons why this could not be true and why lack is real and money is limited. We would say, yes, lack is indeed very real for those suffering the consequences of this belief. We do not ask you to deny appearances. We suggest that as with everything in the outer scene, you are now ready to look and embrace a deeper realization regarding abundance. Even if lack or limitation is not a part of your experience in this lifetime, begin to observe and register abundance in every area of ordinary life. 
This practice will begin to form a deeper consciousness of omnipresent abundance and retrain the mind to recognize it easily. Shift your thoughts to truth whenever tempted to give power to appearances of lack, never denying them, but rather translating them. The belief that a bomb-proof shelter or plenty of diamonds and gold constitutes safety and supply, will act to perfectly create separation from true safety and supply. Instead of dwelling on what you do not have or wish you had, begin to take note of the ordinary forms of abundance you see around you, someone's nice clothes, or a beautiful home, the infinite forms and varieties in nature, and whatever comes to your awareness. Through acknowledging without emotional attachment the infinite forms of abundance all around you, you develop a consciousness of abundance. The mind will begin to automatically respond to and integrate abundance as a never-present reality, which with time, becomes a new and higher state of consciousness. As you reprogram your mind to think abundance instead of lack, begin to express gratitude for everything in your life. Simple ordinary things such as a dog's wagging tail when he sees you, the neighbor's hello, or an unexpected hug, are easy to disregard as being ordinary and unimportant, but they are forms of abundance, which when acknowledged as such, will serve to reprogram the mind away from thoughts of scarcity and into I have. There are many simple and basic ways to get the abundance energy flowing, like giving away things you no longer use or need or dropping a coin or two, however small, into some donation jar. When these things are done with the realization that it is not the amount of the donation that is important, but rather the awareness of the infinite source of it, you will be expressing abundance on a much higher level and it will begin to multiply. Begin to pour physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually through a consciousness of I have, because I am. When you pay bills, do it in an awareness of your payment as not coming from you personally, because in and of yourself you have no abundance, but rather that it is flowing through you from an infinite source, you are simply transferring money from your left hand to your right, because there is only one. If you believe that the supply of anything is personally yours, it will immediately become subject to limitation where it can and often does run out. Your work is to attain that state of consciousness that realizes supply as an ever-present flow of divine energy that never will or could run dry. Attaining a consciousness of I have, does not happen overnight, because beliefs of lack and limitation are firmly entrenched in world consciousness as the result of hundreds of lifetimes lived firmly entrenched in the experiences of lack and limitation, as well as with great wealth. However, Know that there is not now nor could there ever be a law to support scarcity. This is not to say that once you become aware that there is a law of abundance, you then sit doing nothing, awaiting your personal bag of money to drop from the sky. Rather, you take whatever ordinary human footsteps you are guided to take, get a job, be it any job in order to get the flow going, or invest as you are guided, etc. But take these actions with higher awareness, one that does not give the power of abundance to them. Money or goods that manifest out of an attained consciousness of spiritual abundance can and will reappear if lost, because the substance from which these things were formed, consciousness, is still present. You are creators creating all aspects of daily life according to your attained state of consciousness. Abundance is an ever-present reality. It never changes or becomes non-existent because it is a facet of creator energy, held forever in place by divine law. Regardless of your present financial circumstances, begin to evolve more deeply into the truth of supply as being spiritual, not material, while refusing to endow either good or bad appearances with power. If you are wealthy, open your consciousness to more than limited third-dimensional concepts about investments wealth, banking, and personal accomplishment. If you are presently experiencing lack, know that it is the manifestation of a consciousness of lack, go deeper. Regardless of global or personal appearances, you are all ready to begin the inner work of embracing and understanding this issue in its higher reality. You are that which you seek. We are the Arcturian Group.